By the way, if you have not subscribed, please do so if you feel so inclined. Um, so back to what I was saying. Um, my camera's acting weird, y'all, because I'm just wearing, I'm using my little Android uh, real fast. But um, yeah, so just brown your meat. And then you want to add in, if you have taco sauce, you can use that. But I have all the seasonings that's in the taco sauce, and I'd rather use fresh fresh seasonings that I either dry um, to hydrate myself or, you know what I'm saying, organic as possible, you know, as healthy as possible. So there's basil, there is turmeric, shawarma, um, which is actually a Middle, Middle Eastern, um, but we have um, basil, uh, Italian seasoning. Now, the Italian seasoning has like thyme, oregano, um, rosemary, and sage. I like a lot of herbs in my, um, <clears throat> the uh, organic fresh warmer se seasoning. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a Middle Eastern inspired spice, but it has, um, it's not going to tell you, it just has organic spices and garlic and garlic salt, organic turmeric, and paprika. Um, and then I added some of my, this is my own uh, celery, dehydrated celery flakes. Um, and what else did I add? Um, garlic powder. Yep. Garlic powder. Um, and then I added some uh, fine, fine Himalayan pink salt. Now I have um, the organic versions of all of those. I just, um, yeah, and then I add a little bit of ginger. Um, so so good, and um, some onion powder. Uh, yep, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer it. So you would take your restaurant style. Uh, chips like this or tortilla chips or you can use um, the corn tortillas uh, like if you want to do the just the um, corn tortilla shells you can do it that way as well and then um, you want to use like a dish like this you have to excuse, excuse me for the mess because but I'm moving by the way guys um so my cell has been going on so I'm gonna use this big bad boy um, for my that might be a little too big, though. Yeah, I'll use one of those. Um, so I'll have to get that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put it on 350 and let it be preheating while I do this. I'm going to start with the chips, okay? And then also, this is my own um, organic uh, homegrown tomato puree. Um, and then, like I said, I have some ginger here that I will um, put a little bit of that on there um, but start with the chips okay and then you're just gonna layer it up you're gonna start with your chips and then you're gonna do your meat no I'm sorry chips <laughs> then your refried beans which is actually just um, a few ingredients it's actually just pinto beans with a little bit of salt and some vegetable oil, basically. I mean, yeah, so, um, and that's what you want to use to layer it. So you put your um, chips in there. You put your uh, refried beans if you want to just get or can of re refried beans because they're pretty inexpensive. Um, and then put your meat and then your cheese. Well, let's go right over here and get the cheese. Okay, so, oh yeah, grocery haul yesterday, or actually the day before, um, yeah, I got some okra, and oh my gosh, so, um, I wanted to kind of do another video on this, just on this grocery haul, but, um, I wanted to show you guys something, if I can get it out without, which I thought it was really cool, um, sorry, guys, I know, it's like, cameras all over the place but anyway um okay so I was at Kroger's and I saw this this is uh the um organic simple truth uh 
live in lettuce, butter lettuce, um, carefully harvested with the roots intact for maximum freshness. Now, anyone that's doing a lot of grocery shopping right now, it's like things are seedless. Um, they don't want you propagating. Um, it says that right on like a lot of the labels of, you know, any kind of herbs or anything that you get um, because they've caught on that people are wanting to grow their own food. And I just thought that that was cool. So, yes, Kroger's near where I live. Um, and I spent like 20 bucks because it's tax-free on all food and school-related um, clothes, you know, school-related items right now in Tennessee. So, yeah, I grabbed one of these because I'm going to actually grow um some of that lettuce and i do have already have some lettuce and all kinds of things growing and um i live in a, an apartment but i have a little secret garden so i wanted to show that to you that's my lowe's tea uh that i picked up um and i got the peppers and i got i'm going to be making my own um the hill uh, the mill the hills so i want to make my own um grape juice for that so I'm gonna be doing that and um, I should show you guys like the um, I have all my um, butters in here too as well for my soap making but um, anywho so these are the peppers that I'll be using for the next round um, but yeah so and then I grabbed some okra and um, a few other things, but let's grab this cheese. And then, uh, so once you put your, um, once you layer it, it's pretty simple. It's, it's you know, just how you wanna make it. And I'm putting good use to my kitchen right now, even though I am in a lot of pain. Um, because, and I wanna kinda use all of this up. I'm going to dehydrate the rest of this. I already have some all kinds of mozzarella, um, sharp cheddar, uh, mall cheddar dehydrated and put up. Um, but I'm kind of trying to use all of this up because I'm in the bit, a bit of a bind. <laughs> um, but I know the Lord's going to come through, so it's going to be fine. But, um, yeah, if I was cooking for others and, and putting... And, um, actually cooking for others and I would all be obviously having gloves on but I'm not and my hands are clean I'm a soap maker so um yes it's just a little bit of a mess in my kitchen right now because of the um mad flash cell um and oh my goodness um yeah I have to move, guys. Um, so they went up on the rent. There's other things that I actually can't mention right now. Um, but it's a complete mess. And I can't say anything at the moment because I was told not to through legal re representation. So as soon as I can reveal that to you, I will uh, more than likely. I will explain all because it might have a lot to do with my um, osteonecrosis, which has been it's been a, a bad ordeal. Um, I'm not gonna lie; it's been very, very difficult. Anytime that you get a bad report from the doctor, you're gonna go through the valley. It's been a very, very tough season. I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, okay. So we're gonna add our meat. Okay, so this is actually bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and use all of the meat, and then I'll just um, order some more. I had actually took the meat out of the freezer um, because I thought my son was coming on Sunday, but um, he let me know something, and so I actually, mom came to the rescue, <laughs> you know how you do for your kids, so um, yeah, he doesn't have a vehicle, so he's been having, guys, this is so sad, y'all, I, like, I feel so bad, um, he's been having to take Uber to work, 
and um, I know that he gets like rides um, home from, and he's a he's a manager. He had a, a full on football scholarship, everything, and then an accident, so called accident, happened um, while he was visiting uh, with um, his dad down in uh, Colombia, South America, and. Um, Guys, I am not, I'm just saying this happened there, okay? This is just what happened, okay? So, because I am not, I love Colombia. I love Colombian people. I love Colombian food. I love Latin people, period. I love everybody. <laughs> Red, yellow, black, and white. <laughs> they are precious in his sight. Yes. Um. So, and I myself am multicultural. My whole family, we are representing we got Asian, we got Cherokee, we got Latin American with my son, um, we got uh, Vietnamese, um, and we've got African American, because our grandmother was half Cherokee and half African American, so, uh, French Cajun, African American, so, yeah, and then on my mom's side, the, the Asian and all that, but, okay, so, yeah, we do that there, and then... All right, and then after we get done with that, let me, oh, goodness. I see, I have to be careful, y'all. Y'all don't know how many times I've almost fall um, a day. Um, because, uh, yeah. And then I was a goofball. When I went to Kroger's the other day, I slipped and fell. No, not slipped and fell. I forgot my, yeah, I'm not even going to go there because you guys don't think I'm such a dodo. Um... So I had a wheelchair gifted to me, um, and I accidentally left it at Kroger's. I guess I was take I thought I was taking the uh, um, <laughs> the um, the really nice wheelchair scooter thing home. I guess um, I have no idea, but yeah, you should have seen me trying to get that in from out of my van with milk and oh my goodness, all of that. But anyway. So, yes, uh, tax-free, um, as you can see, I didn't put any beans, um, down, um, I usually do, but I'm not this time, because I didn't soak them in time, but, um, I've got, oh my gosh, I've got bags and bags of every kind of bean you could ever think of, because I started prepping over a year ago, not for me, but for, um, the dream I had of doing this widow's might mobile, um, like a oxygen bar type, not bar, but an oxygen spa boutique retreat where people could get, um, for free, you could get your, um, like a, a Jesus washing feet ministry. Um, you could get prayer, you could get your spa stuff, because you guys know that I make all the organic, artistic, Christian-based, um, mm, let's go, Christian-based, um, cosmetic products, and it is a non-profit, so, yeah, okay, so, anyway, so, after you do, uh, the layers, um, of course, only got to do uh, um, one layer there, but that's okay. Anyway, um, this is just for me, so this is like a lot more than what I need, obvious, <laughs> of course. But uh, I'm gonna throw some of my uh, tomato puree on there, my organic um, Tennessee homegrown tomatoes on there, and then um, I will add some other salsa as well. And then you can add your sour cream, guacamole. Um, now, I don't, I like the flavor of onions in my food, but unless I'm, I'm cooking for someone else, I'm real funny. Like, I'll eat onion rings and things like that, but I don't like onions on my hamburgers. I don't like onions in my food. I love the flavor of onions. I just don't like them in my food. I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. Anywho, so when you get done um, putting those ingredients before you put your, you know, your salsa, your tomato sauce, all of that, you're just going to pop this in the oven, cover it with your cover, you know, on top, or you can even do uh, aluminum foil, uh, you know, 
your, um, uh, yeah, aluminum foil or your top that goes on top, which I'm going to grab in just a second. But, uh, yeah, and then pop it in the oven just until everything gets melted. And uh, pop it out. Add the rest of your toppings, your um, salsa, tomato puree. Um, you can put, I'm going to put uh, ginger in mine because I just love ginger. Um, of course, you guys don't have to do that. Um, and you'll probably have onions and all of that. So it's tailored to my taste. But um, And then add your sour cream guacamole. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, your refried beans that would be in there. But, yes, it is delish. You love it. Okay. All right. <laughs> that is the seven layer. Or, uh, in my case, actually, it would be a five layer. But that's okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. And, of course, I'll add um, some uh, in pictures of the whole thing. Cause you'll want to see that. But be sure to like, subscribe. And hit the notification bell because I'm about to embark on a epic journey. Um, I told you guys that I'm going to have to go mobile. And there's going to be some changes to the channel. And then I'm having this sell, this epic, like, nonprofit um, end of the summer sell. And I'm talking, guys, I'm talking about, like, YouTube with electronics. Um, I'm talking antiques, I'm talking Ikea, I'm talking um, artwork, I'm talking um, just lots of um, 60s and 70s furniture. Um, I've got a uh, Dell Latitude uh, laptop over there that I've, I've, I'm not taking. Um, I've got uh, some bar stools and um, some redwood um, chairs over there. And, oh, my goodness, the housewares and all of the wicker um, and the crystal and the, <laughs> the glass. I know you guys can't see all that, but you see the boxes down there? Okay, that's all prepping food, like shelf-stable prepping food. Um, I have so much, and that's not the only place. Like, I have, let me show you this. <clears throat> that's all, like... Uh, dry milk, there's green peas in there, there is, um, now I have to can some of this, I haven't gotten around to doing that, um, and I don't know if I will, I may have to donate it, but I've got potatoes in there, I've got, um, trail mix, and so you can make your own, um, power bar bars, um, I've got Monterey, uh, cherries in there, I've got, um, Oh my goodness, just a bunch of stuff. I don't want to get in there digging, but yeah, I've got um, the pitted, uh, pitted plums in there. I've got um, the granola, triple berry granola. I love this stuff. So yeah, um, like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And then I've got some of my um, citric acid and sea salts and a lot of my soaping supplies down there. But I'm probably more than likely going to get rid of all of that. There's all my seasonings, my organic seasonings, and some other little doodads in there. Um, and then my baking powder um, for my uh, vegan um, foods that I make. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm kind of a balanced kind of girl. And I have a just a manifold of different... Um, soap and cosmetics, massage bars, um, massage oils, uh, my goodness, um, yeah, and I use a lot of, I use the antique, um, antique, goodness gracious, I use the, um, the ancient biblical aroma therapy, um, and I like to make a lot of my own oils, um, that's a hoba. And that's hemp seed oil. And I make my own apple cider vinegar. But I do have some just in case I need some. And then avocado oils. And you guys saw all the butters. Um, in the, there's the glycerin. Um, my emulsifying wax for my conditioners. And yeah, I do all the herbal um, and botanical. And I have all the schooling in that. So yeah. And then my incredibly awesome... 
um, menthol, spear, spearmint, peppermint, eucalyptus. Um, I'm actually not going to put the top on, but um, yep. Um, menthol, spearmint, eucalyptus, um, <clears throat> uh, shower steamers. And I have the grapefruit and aloe vera um, sugar, sugar cubes, sugar scrubs, the cubes. And then I have um, all of my waxes. You can see where I've been doing some little um, side uh, things there. But I do all the kind of carvings and things. But anyway, this is about the, the recipe. But obviously, I've got lots left over there. So, I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, I will try to put down the recipe below um, everything that I just mentioned. Have a blessed day. Love you guys. I always try to make my videos short, but for some reason, they end up being, like, really long. So, <laughs> now, um, I use um, special um, organic. I use my own soap for my pans because I do not... Yeah, and I'll be actually be making some of that later um, if I'm not exhausted. Uh, but yeah, I, I like to do all of my um, pans with my own organic um, soap. So, and I wash them by hand. Um, and everything else just kind of goes in the dishwasher. Um, I have organic dishwasher liquid that I use, and it's incredible. It's never... Um, stopped it up or done anything like that. So, yeah. Um, and I have my own, um, like for pennies a day, you can make your own um, uh, dishwashing, uh, or not dishwashing, uh, laundry detergent. Um, yeah. So, see all the baskets? Okay. And that one is like all the clamshell. Um, there's like 5,000 clamshell uh, wax melts because I have everything that you need for. Uh, candle making or wax melt making, um, the colorants, the sparkle, um, the uh, actual wax, uh, you know, coloring blocks, all of that. But this is all the like some of the kids, uh, kids uh, items. And then I've got a bunch more of like minimalization, uh, leapfrog, and you guys can't see all that. But yeah, there's like Hello Kitties in there. And I've got Winnie the Pooh and um, lots of cool stuff, and that right there is a, a bath, um, minimal, minimization, minimalization bath carrier, and it goes with this blue, see, isn't that cute, and you just kind of like undo it, and it, then it folds back up, and then this here is, a. Uh, if you go shopping, oh, I just dropped it. If you go shopping, um, then uh, you can use this. And then I have all the designer um, baby outfits. And guys, when when I say designer baby outfits, I mean okay. So this is a high chair cover, but you could use it for um, your the baby's. Uh, you know. Um, Roller seat, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, I got lots of stuff that is really, really great. That's one of the Italian. Um, that is a pure thing, I think. Because uh, I have lots and lots of designer, Italian designer clothes and belts and buckles and shoes and heels. <laughs> it just doesn't stop, you guys. But that's what happens when you go... There's some toys over there, and then there's my Paris um, paintings over there, and those are brand new VTEC. Every single one uh, works, and they're just adorable, but yeah, so, and then I've got an Ikea shade and just a bunch of stuff, and then uh, I've already given a bunch of stuff away, but yeah, like a lot of the electronics are over there, gaming, all of that. That's the Ikea Chantilly uh, uh, vase, and then it has an Ikea uh, platter on top, and I just did it that way because, well, because I was trying to, um, I do a lot of DIYs and things like that, so, um, and that right there is an antique um, 
wrought iron Eiffel Tower. And when I had it in here, I actually had like the lights um, all around it. And it actually looked like the real Eiffel Tower. And yeah. So, and obviously, you know, everything is sanitized. Um, I sanitize everything actually with doctor's <laughs> sanitizer. Um, yeah, what they use there. And I've got lots of like heating pads and just lots and lots and lots of things uh, for sale um, and uh, to, give away, to give away. Oh, I got to show you guys this. So, I'm kind of sad about this too. Um, that is by a painter in Ghana, Africa. And those three actually match. They all go together. And absolutely beautiful. Isn't that? I know you can't see it very well because of the light. Because I wasn't planning on showing you, all, you guys all this. But yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then I've got the stools and these swivel. And then uh, the antique uh, radios down there. And I've got other kind of vintage um, type VCR, DVD players. And then the Roku TV is for sale. Yeah, lots of lamps. Brand new stuff like right in the box, you guys. Um, so, yeah. And, yeah, I've got uh, printers. And um, I don't know if you, can, you can't see the... Um, it's over 100 years old. It's a... Um, stained glass chandelier uh, that a uh, church was going to throw away. And so I grabbed that. And then they had some other French uh, carriage style house lanterns um, that I grabbed. So, yeah, 